Hello, my crafty friends and creatives from around the globe. Welcome to Heather and Jan's studio, or welcome back if you've been here before, and thanks for coming back. It's nice to see you all today in my crafty space. Um, we're working on part two of our concertina folded uh, books. <laughs> As you can see, I went a little crazy. Uh, there is a part one to this, so if you want to know how these went together, uh, I'll put a link in the description box below and I'll, I'll try to put it up there in a card as well. Um, so you can go watch that first and do the assembly part, and now we're at the decorating part. So um, I made some more, <laughs> as you can see. I, I went a little crazy. I have a bunch of these now. Um, this one's a little one. I think we're going to work in this one because it's shorter. It's got less space. But look, I made a little bitty one, too. So these are super fun. You can make them in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And um, yeah, and you're using a book page. So it's awesome. All right, so today we're going to decorate this one that I did about a week or so ago. All I did was um, I had, you know, the same thing that I had here. And then I just added some gesso. So I used this Liquitex gesso. Uh, this one's clear. You can use white, black, whatever your look you're going for. So first I put the gesso down and then I did like this paint technique. This is just acrylic paint and it's just um, Payne's gray and some white. So I only used two of the colors, even though it looks like a lot more here. Um, I cut out a couple of windows because I wanna do some, some things where they go through the window. And um, so I just cut out some pieces here, but then I then went around and just distressed the edges with some um, vintage photo distress ink by Ranger. So it just kind of gave it that aged look and I did that on both sides. And then I went in and took a little white gesso and just softened some of the areas that I, I wanted to. So that's how we got here. So you can go for this style if you want to kind of do something with acrylic paints. This one I think what I want to do is um, just use some paper. I have some papers that were left over from that workshop that I did. These are some of them are double-sided, some of them are not. Uh, and then I have a bunch of little bits and pieces here that I cut out, some of my stickers. All of this was left over from the class, so I figured I gotta use it up. Um, might as well do it here, right? Okay, so what I thought I would do is kind of get in here and I'm just looking for my magazine. Here it is. Um, I would just tear some pages and lay them down in strips. I want to see how that's going to look. And I'm going to use my my um, art glitter glue for this, uh, just because this is the second layer now. And if you have any edges that came up uh, during the drying process, what you can do is use a stronger wet glue to kind of seal them down. I had a few of those and um, I had a little bubble also. And so right here, you can hardly even see it now. What I did was I just um, cut into it and I put the glue underneath and then just went over it. It doesn't really matter that much because we're gonna cover it up, but um, it'll stop it from having bubbles on top of bubbles if that happens. All right, so let's start with some of these pages. It really doesn't matter what you use. And I'm just gonna tear. And I'm going to cut off this white edge because I don't want that. So we'll get rid of that. All right, and now I'm just going to glue this down to the end and then I'm going to layer across. It'll all make sense in a minute. Okay, so you can measure this across first if you want, and then just I'm going to simultaneously cut off that white edge while I do this. There we 
go. And we will glue this down. But as you can imagine, there are so many ways that you can decorate these and there's no rules. So if you have stencils, you could do some stenciling. So you could um, do a little layer of gesso, but if you don't have gesso, you could just paint with some acrylic paints or even some watercolors. Watercolors work well on the book page. So you could, you know, do something like that. You could stencil over top of that. You could um, kind of come in here with some markers and just color the background. The book page is such a great uh, surface to work on. So it can really be many different mediums that you can use on here. So I would say test it out. Why are these tearing so weird? Okay. There we go. like that and just kind of put that one down on top of that one Let me measure that and then I think I'm going to sew mine um, after I'm done I'm gonna probably sew around big deal. I'll probably sew around my pages as well and then go over them but you know if you don't sew obviously don't sew. I just like the way that looks especially with paper and black thread. I don't know it's just really cool to me. But I would put every if you're gonna if you're going to sew, I would put everything down on the page that you want to first because it is gonna go through to the other side, right? Because these are connected now. Some of this ledger paper. These are uh, reprints of some of my stuff, so not real ledger paper. Let me cut that. But I think you get the idea. You just kind of, you can collage like a master board or you can just do strips of paper like I'm doing. Come on. You know, it's up for interpretation. You do whatever, whatever makes you feel good. The Arc Glitter Glue is great because it dries quickly and it dries flat. So you don't get a lot of bumpy um, bits that are at the, t you know, you could feel through. The bad thing about Arc Glitter Glue is that it jams up so much. It's just ridiculous sometimes. I keep a pin in it all the time, but even while I'm using it, it just clogs. But, you know, one of those little small problems that aren't really problems. <laughs> so, all right, so we'll put this one down here. Like so. There's a little for me to cut off, so I'll do that when it's dry. We'll go on to the next one. I have some of this. I like this side better. I don't know if you can tell. Um, these are misprints because my printer alignment was a little off. I don't know if you can even tell, but yeah, very annoying. Um, it happens every so often and then I, it just unexpectedly happens, which is the annoying part. And then I have to realign my printer, but by then I've printed like six sheets. 
So that's no fun. All right, this one I'm gonna do like half of the page. Let's go this way. Doesn't really matter. Put that there. Yeah, so this is a great scrap buster too, if you do it this way, because you can use up, you could collage with a bunch of, you know, the scraps you have laying around and get rid of them and make good use of them. Actually, I like this side better. Oh, I'm gonna use this side, even though they're both misprinted. Probably gonna cover it up anyway, so no big deal. Ugh, really? Sorry guys. All right, back to it. Sure, I got a lot of glue on there. So I do not want these pulling up once I have this done. And I am gonna sew it, so it's not a big deal, but you know, if you're not sewing, you want to make sure it's down well. All right, what else do we have over here? Um, all right, let me get some of these papers. I got these pretty butterflies. And depending on which way you rip the paper, you'll get that white edge so if you're pulling towards you the white edge will be on the left if you're pulling away from you the white edge will be on your right so um, if you're trying to avoid the white edge just keep that in mind i am going to cut this right here And these prints are from, ooh, I think it's Cotton and Twig. Cotton and Twig's Etsy. So I will try to remember to get that in the description box below if you're interested in some of these papers. They're gorgeous, gorgeous. This I'm not liking, so. Better and cut it right there. Come on. Actually, let me just glue this little bit. Yeah, this dries really fast and it's, but it, you know, you have a little play time, not much. <laughs> I've day collaged a lot of pages because of how quick this glue dries. Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna go along and do some more of this. And you can do the same with yours or take whatever technique it is that you like. Um, and continue decorating. But I like these pages a lot. So I want to make them all the way across. Um, some other things you can do too is to, before you glue them down, you can stitch on these or you can cut out pieces. I don't happen to have a hole punch here, of course, but you could cut out, um, a, you could hole punch in the center and then you'll see some of the book page come through 
or you could cut out a rectangle and put something behind it or just leave it open so you can stamp on top of it. Actually, that's a good idea. Let me go get a hole punch. Okay, so I'm just going to maybe align it so I can use that piece somewhere else, like so. And now we see that book page too, and I can just come in here with a little white gesso and kind of push that book page back a little, but you'll still be able to see it. You could also take a piece of printed um, vellum or tissue paper and put that back there as well to kind of let that be a little peekaboo spot. So just do this, line that up. Ooh, all right, we gotta go up a little. All right, and it was not aligning. <laughs> now it is, somewhat. It's okay, I like the wonkiness. That's, that's my happy place. A little chaos, a little wonkiness, it's all good. All right, let me glue it down and then I will cut off whatever's left. And I'm using art glitter glue, but you know, use what you have. If you have Elmer's glue, if you know, you're grabbing your kid's glue or whatever, just use that. It all is glue. It will stick paper to paper. <laughs> Especially if this is, you know, just a project for yourself and you know, you're not selling it. You don't, you're not worried about it coming apart on someone. Just use what you have. If you have double-sided tape, you use that as well. All right. Cut that off. A little more up here. Like so. And now, what else do I have here? Ooh, that one's pretty. This is um, an HP paper and it's a little heavier weight than a copy paper. And I gotta tell you, I like the copy paper better sometimes for tearing because it just, um, it's thinner. And so it tends to not leave so much like here. You see how it's pulling up so much more? Oh, this is better way. Like it's coming this far over. Usually when I'm tearing with copy paper, it, it's only very thin like this, so. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, these papers um, from, this is, I, I'm very sure this is cotton and twig. They work together so nicely. I'm just gonna, let's do this. They match up so nicely. What lovely color palettes. I'm in love with them. And she's got a lot of different sets in her shop that all kind of coordinate somehow. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know how Tim Holtz paper all coordinates basically, regardless of what paper pad it's from? It's kind of like that. So I'm a fan. All right. So now, I'll glue this one down, and these thinner pieces that tore, and make sure you get a decent amount of glue on those so we can get them down nice and tight so they're not pulling up. Okay, like so. We have a little piece peeking through here. I'm not that worried about it. You can hardly even tell. And we can always put some washi or something else there. Um, maybe this page. We'll do some more of this. Try to keep a little more control over it. I'm not a fan when it does that 
thing that starts to look like a lot of waves. But yeah, you get the gist. We're just really covering up these pages and there's so many ways to do it, right? So many ways. So many ways you can cover your pages. And the fun part is that even if you don't like what you did, you can go right back over it with something else because it just makes it sturdier. <laughs> At that point, you are just you are just making it sturdier. So what other color do I want in there? I have more of this. How about we put the ledger paper down? And then we put this on top of it, like so. Yes. All right, but I wanna see, I wanna see all of this. So this is my tacking method. <laughs> this makes it easier to cut it. make a pocket out of that next piece because I do want some pockets in this and this I think is a great way to do that so first we'll put this one down like so all right that one stuck all the way down and then this one We'll only glue on these three sides, and then this will be a little tuck, little pocket, which I love. A little surprise hiding space in our little book. Do love me some pockets and hiding spaces. Like so. Now we have little pocket right here. All right, so that side's done. Let's move on to side two. Second verse, same as the first. So, what am I doing this way? Yeah. Oh, have you made something else out of book page? Would you like to share some of your book page adventures? There's so many videos out there. I have a couple myself. I think it's just such a versatile medium. And there is an abundance of it, especially if you are a journal maker, because you are constantly gutting books or altering books. And you tend to have a lot of these pages around. I wrap a lot of my um, my Etsy shop items in book page because, well, number one, I have a lot of it. Number two, some people don't have a lot of it and they want to work with it or maybe they don't like to destroy books. <laughs> I say we're giving them a makeover, but... Um, some people just have a moral issue with it. I get it. Um, so I help provide some book page by wrapping my items in the book page. And then they have book page to use and don't have to have the guilt <laughs> to go with it. So, um, but what have you guys made with book pages? Anything? Let's do, let's go this way now and we'll get that little flower in there. I really love these papers so much. Like so. Oh, that's too far. I'm covering up everything. Oh, well. Just cut off a good bit of it. It's not like we won't use it. Yeah, I've made book page flowers. 
which there's a video on my channel on how to make some simple, cute little book page flowers. So if you have an abundance of book page, go through my playlist because I have a bunch of stuff in there. Super fun stuff. But I'm sure there's so many ways to use these. And since I have so many, I'm always looking for new ways. So if you have any ideas or some videos about book page, please put them in the comments. Share, share. And then everybody will have an opportunity to go check them out. And if there's anything that you've seen made with book page and maybe you haven't seen the process, let me know. Send me an image or something. Um, you can message me through my Etsy shop or my website. And then um, I'll make a video on the pro a process video for it. Always looking for good video ideas. All right, so we have that. Now we can go back to this one. Go the other way now with this. Yeah. I hope everybody's having a really good day. Um, we have crazy weather. I feel like everybody's got crazy weather. Warm in the 50s, and even 60. It's February <laughs> in New York. Um, and then, and then 20, it's kind of nuts. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know. Seems nuts. Maybe it's always been that way. I'm not really a weather keeper, but it just seems like this winter has been kind of weird. And I, it's like late February. So there is still a chance we could get snow and freezing temperatures and all that which is sad because we had a stretch of warm temperatures and a lot of my trees are getting little buds on them and if we get a freeze now unfortunately I'm afraid those little buds are just gonna die off and that's really not good for the trees so I'm hoping I know that they're pretty resilient and um hardy but still I would hate to lose a lot of that foliage you know but it seems like it's crazy everywhere right now we're we're the lucky few we don't have um we haven't had a tremendous amount of crazy weather heavy snowstorms and so on So where is everybody tuning in from? Let me know. And uh, yeah, if you like these videos, I hope you will hit that like button and subscribe. Why didn't I, why didn't I cut this first? Okay, because I'm not paying attention. Yeah, like and subscribe. Um, that helps the algorithm know that well, you like the video, and then it shares it with more people so they can have crafting fun too. All right. Fiasco averted. So, yeah, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this because uh, you'll get notifications that a new video is out when I, want, when I put one up, if you subscribe. And hit that bell note. That bell is the one that gets you the notifications. I'm sure you guys know all this. I'm not telling you anything new. It's just I always I get so wrapped up in my crafting. <laughs> I forget to mention it. Just trying to get get that up there. Get those numbers up a little. I started this channel about two years ago and maybe a little over a year ago. I don't know. I'm just stuck at the bottom of 900 and at the top, like midway, 900 and something. I can't 
crest that thousand. Not that the numbers are important, but you know, everybody likes to hit a milestone now and again. It would be nice to get those up over a thousand. All right, let's get you down. We're out almost in the home stretch. Then we have to decide. I think this would be fun to make. Um, you know, into just like a little, like a little note taking, journaling, maybe quotes or something. So you can kind of write down quotes that you like. Hmm. You're not tall enough. What do I got over here? Ooh, I like the moths. Let's get them in there. Horticulturist. Oh, perfect. You know, so we'll put down some um, we'll put down some blank pages just so we have somewhere to write things down on here. All right, I want all the moths in the frame. Ooh, dropped it. All right. Stay. There we go. And we have plenty of scraps from this part, the create process, the creating process that we can even collage further on this if we wanted to. Now you may be doing something else totally different, you know. Maybe you're stenciling on your pages or you're doodling. Are you a doodler? I like to doodle. I like to doodle when I'm on meetings, you know, Zoom calls and stuff. Just takes away from the monotony of it all. you this way. Uh, I might be out of frame, sorry. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> okay. There. I'll just tear this a little bit. use these books for so many things it can just become a an art project all in and of itself right I mean they don't have to have they don't have to be like a journaling purpose they can just be something pretty to look at um, you could also use them as an idea book right so if you um, have certain paper ideas that you know some some methods you're trying out you can um, you know, put them in here as a reminder and just keep a bunch of these to kind of store your, your creative ideas. Put you in the center. How far down? I'm gumming up my scissors. That's all right water soluble so, or water cleanup whatever water based <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say these are water based glues so they're easy cleanup put you in the middle actually maybe we'll put you on the side 
And then we'll put you in the middle because you kind of match the other one. Okay, like so. Oh, that looks good. All right, let's just... Now, you may have a hundred other ways to cut your paper. You know, most of the stuff I do is on the fly, <laughs> if you haven't been able to tell. So I just kind of do what works in the moment, and then I'll go back and kind of clean this up, you know, kind of trim it out. I don't care that it's perfect. As a matter of fact, I prefer that it's not perfect. You know, but everybody has their own way, their own personality, their own likes and dislikes. So your page may be completely structured and every piece of paper is cut in a straight line and lined up perfectly and that is perfectly fine. Another thing you could do on the page is weave your pages, right? So you could cut strips this way and this way very thin and then you can weave them in and out like a fabric weave. That would be cool. All right, so we have all of this down now and we'll go on to part three I, and uh, we'll just do a little additional decorating. So yeah, I'll see you over there in part three. Talk to you soon.